Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to do the Scorpio on Sunday tarot reading for you today, my darlings. Um, I am using my Wildwood Tarot for this reading and because a very popular request, we are going to be doing a love tarot reading for you today. We're going to be looking at the person that you're thinking about, where they are energetically, where you are energetically and the kind of the energy between you. What is the energy between you that is affecting um, this uh, connection that you have at this time? So let's move ahead with the reading. This is for those Scorpio uh, that most need to hear this reading today uh, or whenever you are guided to see this reading if it resonates you are simply remembering in divine timing my darling what you already know within you within your soul if it doesn't re resonate it simply means it wasn't for you at this time so thank you spirit we are looking at first of all their energy towards this relationship and how their general attitude uh, in terms of where they are right now within themselves it can also be outside influences as well but let's just see what the cards have to say it's quite a big deck this world with tarot but let's move ahead thank you spirit for their energy for the person that this listener is thinking about at this time thank you There's one or two cards one card has come out Thank you, Spirit. So we have got the Six of Air, which is the Six of Swords. And this is towards this relationship as well. So what I'm immediately picking up, darling, that there is a huge amount of uh, loyalty with this relationship. Uh, the Six of Swords is a, a progression forward in the right, well, I wouldn't say the right, but in the authentic sense of oneself. It is allowing things to flow in a way that is natural. It is, um, they don't want to rush this. Uh, there is a trust within them at this time. They feel if they're not, uh, when they're not near you, they do feel the lack of you. Uh, the swans mate for life so there is a loyalty there um, and you are both doing a lot of inner work at this time there may be children involved because of the little uh is it signets uh there may be children involved i feel that you feel that deep in the sort of edges of it all and they may feel this too and this is their card but this is two of you in this card that there are some problems uh some issues that haven't yet been resolved but they are sort of there they're not really being talked about per se um however with the fox in this card spirit is saying to me that those problems will be overcome there will be a solution to those but it allows you what spirit is asking you to do is literally glide down the waters of trust don't feel that there is a necessity or a need at this time to um to bring up things that naturally will come to their natural conclusion for you. So this is a beautiful card. Uh, there is balance. This is how they feel. There is balance within this relationship. Um, and there is a gentleness and there is a protectiveness there from them as well. So that's beautiful. That's their energy that they're bringing to the table at this time. Thank you. Um, and I also feel with this card that there's a lot of, they see with you a lot of happy times ahead. The mist is rising in this card. This is the beginning of a new day, a new dawn. It's going to be a beautiful day. It always is when the sort of mist rises off the water. But emotionally, sorry, I'm just going to go back to this card for a second. Emotionally, they're in the flow of it with you. Emotionally, this is what they feel, their deepest, deepest feelings. They feel that they can trust you. They feel that there is loyalty. They're in the flow of this relationship with you. So thank you, Spirit. Let's see what else wants to come up. Thank you. This is your energy now, what you're bringing to this relationship. Thank you. So you've got, uh, it's very interesting, and I, my eyes glanced immediately to the bottom of the deck for you as well. They have the Six of Swords. You have the Six of Fire. I just want to show you that on the bottom of the deck, first of all. So there you are with the Six of Fire, and there they are with the Six of Swords. So both of you 
have water in the cards. This is your overriding energy. I'm going to give you an extra one as this is for you. <laughs> um, and both of you uh, are in an emotional state of being that is allowing this to go with the flow at the moment. Remember, water is about emotions and, and water will always find the path of least resistance. So that is what Spirit's asking you to do as well, to, to find within you that path of least resistance um, and to allow this to progress naturally, my darling. Allow it to progress in the natural cycles of things. Don't start trying to shift and change the course of this emotional flow at this time through any need or necessity to uh, to progress it faster than it would otherwise be naturally. The dragonfly is a beautiful card of, um, uh, of, of letting go at this time of this need to, to move at a faster pace. There is light on this water here. Um, you know, the dragonfly is illuminated here and, and it's kind of got the light of 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 the sun the light of god shining through it so this is a card of you you you're doing a big shift at the moment there's a card of you readapting here there's a card of transformation it's a card of uh re renewal it's a card of renewal is the word that i'm getting and although um sometimes you can lose although it's difficult sometimes to see what's happening within our everyday light, the luminous light of this light shining through the dragonfly, dragonfly wings is that nature gives us this example of how something that can look so normal and mundane, that's the dragonfly's wings, once the light shines through and it's translucent, there is magic, there is light in everything, there is, there is a source in everything. So with this dragonfly as an overriding energy, keep um, keeping close contact with the what you are being illuminated by this relationship. What is it illuminating within you? What is it giving you? Because when you start to see a relationship, not as a need to be loved, but as a, um, a reflection, a mirrored reflection, of what it is illuminating within you, what it is bringing up within you, what it is showing you. Illumination is to show with light, isn't it? So what are the gifts that this relationship is giving you? Because it's giving you a, a, an extraordinary gift. It is the light of God, God there, the light of the universe. And then you've got the moon card. So this is what you're bringing into this um, relationship. I feel with this moon card, uh, it's a very strong moon. It's reflected on the water here. So there is absolutely two souls, two souls who are reflecting each other, illuminating each other on this journey. There is fear involved. There is love involved. Which will you choose? That is the question. Um, if you have been hurt in the past and you are afraid of being hurt again, I want you to ask yourself the question, have you taken that path of self-healing? Self have you taken the path to understand what the past relationships gave you as a soul gift? What did it teach you about yourself? What did you release through that understanding? Are you still carrying those hurts from the past relationship into this relationship? Are you feeling renewed and enlightened? If you are feeling in the space that you have let go with understanding and no um, um, uh, negative feelings about the past anymore, only gratitude for what it has given you. The person that is standing in front of you now, the person that is right there in front of you now is loyal. The person who is standing in front of you now is your energy. It is a reflection of the energy that you are giving out. And that is because you are connected to yourself now. You understand what relationships are really truly there to give you. Yes, they are unity, but they are vitally important because we cannot get to know ourselves unless we do so in relationship to something else or somebody else. And this relationship is a very important part of your life path. The moon card talks about facing our fears. And I, you know, facing our fears is, is, is an interesting thing. I, I, I'd rather say walking through our fears, understanding that fears are, fear is a liar, fear is something that our mind tells us, fear is that 
lovely ego within us saying, oh my goodness, this could go wrong, this could be dangerous, I could fall, like they could leave me, all of those things. But to step through it with the trust that you know what this relationship is. And then actually it has been brought to you because you were ready to receive it. Now, if you have and are still doing healing from past relationships, do detach from this relationship in that beautiful way of looking at it from what is it trying to teach me now? Because it maybe it's helping you to bring up the last bit of stuck energy that you've had from the past. The moon is a, a, a card of some path is unfolding for you and you may not quite see it yet but it's a wink from the universe from me it's a trust card from the universe it's a surprise and delight card from the universe walls are very very protective and so i'm going back to this swan swans are also very protective you are both i feel not only protective of each other, but you've created around you a very protective energy at this time, a bubble at this time. This is a new cycle. This is a new moon here. And it is reflected in the energy that you're giving each other at this time. Both of you are going through a renewal. Now, maybe you are two people that have gone apart and come back together again, and you've met on this bridge of change, because this is the bridge of change, and you've met there. And intuitively, and it's been a, a moment of um, spontaneous um, coincidences, but this has been a co-creating incident between you and this person, or maybe you've met by chance, but whatever it is, you are returning and there's a little cottage. Can you just see in the background there? Your, your, how do I say the spirit? You're returning home. Obviously, if you're returning home, you're feeling like you're you're at home with yourself. But you're returning. You're you're following your call now. You're following the call of the wolves. You're following that soul family call, and you feel like you've come home to yourself. And that is because this person is illuminating has illuminated within you that which you didn't know about yourself they have been the trigger for you you have done the illumination yourself you have done the work yourself but they have been put there to help you begin to truly understand who you are so that is the energy that you're bringing to this reading i'm going to now look at the energy between you thank you spirit bear one with me one moment Hey, my darling, sorry, little Nutty was barking. So now I'm going to look at the energy between you at this time. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, there we go. Well, this is a beautiful reading uh, for you. You have uh, the craftsman of Earth. So I feel with this that uh, <laughs> it's an interesting card, this craftsman of Earth. And I, I think it is the sort of the, the, the page of pentacles, that sort of transitionary time at this time. I feel, thank you, Spirit, that there is within between you at this time, there has been an ending and now there's a new beginning. There has been a, um, there's never been an apartness from you because of the swans. They always are together, but I feel there has been a pulling apart. Now I'm going to call this space chaos, but there's a skull there. This is rebirth, but there is new growth and it is a space of um, the universe creating uh, this moment of chaos, this moment of chaos between you. Now, the universe told me something about the word chaos the other day, which is chaos is cause has an omnipotent um, uh, symphony. So something that is symphony is, is, is a beautiful rhythmic pattern that is a joy. And chaos, that cause, that conflict, that chaos is happening mm -hmm. to, to create, to, to, to allow your energies to blend in an understanding, to allow there to be a greater symphony between you. And that symphony is because you're both in tune. Oh, thank you, Spirit. They're both in tune with one another. So if there is chaos at this time, Spirit wants you to detach from it 
because if you are reacting to it, you're reacting from the pain, you're reacting from the ego within you. You are not a separate identity to this person. You and they are life itself experiencing itself. So when you next speak with them, see them as a reflection of you, you are both the universe getting to know itself. So in that place of detachment and awareness, what are you orchestrating at this time to create the symphony? What are they orchestrating at this time to create the symphony? Now you may feel nothing because there's awful lot of, of, of chaos that's happening at this time, but that's because two reactory um, egos are not going to listen to one another. But if you make the choice and decision to only respond from a place of understanding, then you will shift the energy between you and understanding that underneath all of this, there is beautiful creative chaos going on. And if you let go of trying to, as I said at the beginning of this reading, let go of trying to control the outcome of here, maybe let go of the need to be right. Because if we are trying to express something and we feel that we're really, really right about it, within a reactionary state, all we do is create more and more and more frustration for ourselves because we cannot seem to get the point across. And we can't seem to get the point across because the other person doesn't want to listen to what we're wanting to say because they're very stuck in their rightness. So the only way around this is to literally go back to, they, they are trusting that or any issues here will be resolved. Their feelings for you are stronger than any present chaos that's happening at this time. You are being asked with the moon card to maybe just understand that this is bringing up within you things that you hadn't uh, looked at within yourself before. But they are a reflection of you and you are a reflection of them. And you've both been put together, ordained by the universe to cause this creative chaos between you in order for there to be a beautiful symphony of energies between you as well. So let go of trying to affect an outcome in this situation and allow the natural responses to come through from you without needing, needing to explain everything. Less is more, my darling. Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, to go with this reading, you've got the Ten of Earth, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So everything this card says, this is the overriding energy for the connectedness between you and this person. Everything is connected. Everything is dependent upon one another. You are not an individual alone on this world. They are not an individual alone on this world. We are the universe experiencing itself. As Alan Watts say, it says, we are the universe having a game of hide and seek with itself. itself. So within that space is saying, okay, so I'm the universe and I'm having a game of hide and seek. And this is somebody I've, I've met on my game of hide and seek and they're helping me to find myself. I'm going to take responsibility for this now. And I, I don't want to, to feel that I'm out, out of control, uh, but I don't need to affect any outcomes because this is a game. This is a beautiful life game. And I talk about game in a way of not playing games, but actually embracing the excitement and the adventure of what you are discovering in this game of hide and seek and taking responsibility for making your choices for your happiness at this time. And that understanding that this can be a huge awakening time for you. This is the mushrooms here. Because you are, thank you, Spirit, you are energetically all the time giving information to one another. You're giving your vibes all the time. You know how strongly we can feel vibes from people. Well, you are giving off very strong vibes to each other all the time. You both feel a huge connection here. And there is a huge connection here. But trust that sometimes if you want to say something, it is not the words you speak, it is the energy that you're giving it that the other person picks up. So ensure that what you're doing is built, is, is strengthening the connection between you, not severing it. 
this connection is here to deepen it is here to get stronger it is here to get uh wiser um and there is new growth that's going to come out of it for you and there is always always like a web of support around you at this time i'm going to pull uh, another card uh, am i going to pull from the same deck for you my darlings let's have a look is there anything else you want to say about this let's look more at this creative chaos thank you and i want to go back to this creative chaos card just for a second with the craftsman of earth there is although this looks like mess and weeds there is abundance within there remember that the old decaying energy creates way for the new so release it's just this 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 experience for you at this time is to release maybe what is old and stuck energy within you to make way for a new blossoming for you there is abundance in this card so let's have a look thank you anything else you want to tell me uh tell me one more card for the uh, six of air please their uh energy feelings towards this relationship thank you i'm going to do four more cards i'll do one for each thank you more. one more card please. thank you for the six of swords so the eight the eight of water so they had the six of six of swords and now they've got this eight of cups now this is interesting this is not necessarily a card of of walking away but it's a card of uh detachment here now they may have walked away from you in the past or they you have walked away from them there is an energy of 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 that within this card but however they are feeling do you see here these little turtles here and this the moon and you had the moon in your card and then you've got this tide this, they're feeling the pull these little turtles here don't know when they wake up and they come out of the sand they're not going to say to themselves i'm heading for the sea they're going to instinctively feel the pull so they instinctively feel the pull with you and the instinct within them is source energy so this is this connection between you and these little turtles don't know about the dangers that lie ahead. Let's call them obstacles to learn, but they know that there's an adventure that awaits there for them. So they feel that sense of unknown with you. They feel that sense of adventure with you. They feel a completion. They feel the pull, but they are ready to glide down the waters of trust with you at a natural pace. And that's the big thing here. I want to show you those two cards again. So um, let's, they feel at one with you. It's like the water, we are as a wave is to the ocean. They feel at one with you, thank you spirit. So let's look at your energy, my darling, for the moon card, thank you. So you have got two cards that have come out of this. You've got the Page of Cups and you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Now, isn't that interesting? The Nine of Pentacles is also uh, wolves. And I talked about the wolf pack earlier, didn't I? So the wolf pack also is very loyal, just like the swamp. So there is that loyalty there. Uh, they also, with the wolf pack, um, they are very protective and they also navigate just like the turtles with instinct. So both of you are instinctively moving like this with each other. You're both drawn in. There is an integrity to your actions at this time. This is an authentic soul approach to this relationship. You are also taking for yourself very unique steps here this is the snow representing clarity and each footprint is never been seen before in that space and time so that's a reminder about treading thoughtfully ahead as you as you move ahead 
And then you've also got the messenger of, and this, thank you, Spirit. It's also about um, with the wolves, the acceptance of where you are right now. There's no rush to this. There's no rush to this. Then you've got the messenger of cups, which is the seal. So this is uh, you transitioning into a place of um, the messenger of cups is with the seal, one of seeing that you are causing and creating moments of great joy, moments of playfulness, moments of fun, going through uh, this emotional sort of what you could see it as a roller coaster, but actually enjoying the peaks and the troughs of the waves with the understanding that each and every moment with this person is giving you an opportunity to evolve, to learn more about yourself, to rediscover yourself. There are, um, it's, it's, a, it's a, I'm going to call it a, 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 a symphony, a movement, uh, how do I say this spirit, a symphony movement, um, I hope that makes sense. It's a moving forward now with intent, navigating your way through this like the wolf pack with the understanding that you're going to detach and look at everything happening for you. But moving forward with a joy, moving forward with a happiness because you have attracted this either back into your life or it's in your life or it's been in your life for a while, but you are shifting within it. There is a coming together within it uh, and it's giving you a lot of inspired thoughts and wisdom um, and be very gentle in this situation as well. So that is those two cards. And then I was going to look at the craftsman of earth between you. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more. I wanted to come out. Seven of Wands. Oh, and that card wanted to come out as well. And the Wisdom Keeper, of course. So uh, this Seven of Wands card, there we go. The lion. Within this space of this craftsman of earth, within this space of whatever change, chaos is happening at this time, within within which there is abundance of, of gifts for you. Spirit wants you to understand that this is creating within you both courage, conviction of your intentions, uh, understanding your integral feelings at this time uh not being afraid to speak from your um from that place of peace and your higher self not being able, you know not being afraid to speak your truth also not having to defend yourself at this time and, and equally this is for them as well so if you see this mirroring in you and mirroring in them it's for both of you but also with the lion here my darling this talks about this is love and love can hurt at times these are roses and thorns but within the hurt, within that intense pain and pleasure at the same time, you know, when you get a, um, a thorn and it's, oof, but you see pain and pleasure can be, it's the same um, in, um, actual physical feeling we get. In that moment, trick, just remind yourself to think, what am I, why is this hurting? Because it might not be with because of them it might be because of something that is deeply rooted you see these are old uh rose trees here rose bushes and so it's deeply rooted within you and so it is the space of the lion is that it takes great courage sometimes to not say anything it takes great courage to be silent and not feel the need to react to give a to give an answer when you know that that answer is coming from a trigger within you it is a resolve within you, Spirit is asking you to do like the lion, to, to be languid about this, to sit back, to watch this the whole tale thing going, not to get involved in, in little uh, skirmishes and little battles and little moments, little arguments within the family or between you that really don't need your attention. You only roar when you have something to say. Um, and so, and when you love someone, remember that when you are in love with somebody or you love someone, you are experiencing within yourself the feeling of self-love. 
the love that you feel that you're giving to somebody else isn't physically leaving your body and going to them, is it? You are experienced the feeling of love. And that's who we are as the universe itself. Our energy is one of unconditional love. It's just being layered, unlayered, underlayed of, of ego reactions to life. So try not, and, and also request this of them as well, within this space of chaos at this time, try and have, you know, no anger, no unnecessary sort of, uh, I'm going to say, because a lion can be aggressive, aggressive behavior, but lions don't hold grudges, do they? Animals don't, they're such a great big teacher for us. They don't hold grudges. They don't hold on to things and say, well, that lion hit me yesterday, so I'm going to go and hit it today. Um, or that lion you know, was mean to me, so I'm gonna go and be mean to it today. They don't do any of that. They literally respond intuitively to each, to each and every situation and it's all in the moment. I've said before, you know, cats, let's say lions, don't go to bed at night over worrying and overthinking about what they did the day before. They are in the present moment so whatever you're going to do do so with that clarity and that commitment to yourself and your peace and acceptance your radical acceptance at this time of what it is that's happening for you you're not a victim of this they're not a victim of this you've been brought together to react respond to each other but ultimately to learn from each other to evolve together to evolve in a way that is in symphony with uh, and in harmony uh, with your soul. And this is a really important big relationship. I'm going to pull one last card. My, oh, yes, I am going to pull a card for the Ten of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. One card for the Ten of Pentacles. One card, please, Spirit, for the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, hello. A little bit off. Okay, so two cards, you've got the nine of swords and you've got guardian. So spirit is saying, you can choose, it's your choice always, to be in the nine of swords space with the wasps and where there is a lot of attacking and a lot of noise and a lot of nobody listening to anybody else. It's not a very comfortable place to be in, is it? We don't want to hang her out anywhere near a wasp's nest. And whenever I see an image of a wasp nest, I am told the message, be silent. So be silent at this time, darling. It's time for you to change your approach to the present situation that you are in. It's time to, to shift into a new state of being in a new state of awareness. You have outgrown the past the past is not now what is the present it is just your um attachment to unhealed past experiences that is affecting the present the present is different learn what you need to from the past and let it go remember without anger if this is a renewal of a relationship for you then that renewal should be based on a renew on a new, clean, beautiful slate, state, slate with two people coming together, even if it's not a, a coming apart physically and coming together, but you understand what I mean energetically between you, there has been a big shift, then do so with the willingness to release the past with understanding and to move forward with the excitement of the adventure. There is a huge amount of loyalty here. There's a huge amount of love here but it's two souls who are confused about who they are that is reacting here. But it's not two souls, it's two identities and personalities, but it's two souls who are completely at bliss within this chaos because they understand exactly why they are here. You understand why you're here if you, if you, if you, uh, tie, if you take this moment to start to look at what you're, you're being asked to learn from this. And then you come, then you've got this space, number 18, the guardian. This is the harmonious vibration, consistently changing evolutionary life itself. This is you. This is you. This is God. This is the universe. 
This is life itself. Start to suspend, if you are not quite there yet, suspend your disbelief about that and allow yourself to experience life itself as the universe. If you're coming across this message as you wake up, say, do you know what? I'm going to be the universe today. I'm going to go out. I'm going to smile. I'm going to say thank you for my surprise and delight. I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to look at things that I am grateful for, and I am going to appreciate everything that comes through for me today. There is no need, this fox on this card leaning on this on, on the guardian, on the god's legs here, the universe's legs, there is no need for you to complete, to rush this um, problem that you have at this time. Let it unfold naturally. Let it unfold the way it's meant to do in harmony. Everything has within this card a natural cycle. And when you step out as the universe in the most humblest of way, looking to share love, share kindness, share blessings, simply to smile at people, you are feeling so good and so different. And you are feeling a huge amount of self-respect and self-love within that space. And then my last card, is regarding this between you, you've got the 10 of cups. So not only the 10 of pentacles, but you also have the 10 of cups. Now look at that panther in there. There is no reason to fear. This is the 10 of cups. This is that wish fulfillment. But the universe is asking you to appreciate to be grateful for the ups and the downs, the peaks, the troughs, the highs, the low. It is necessary to have that conflict and contrast in our life in order for us to experience who we truly are, in order for us to grow. And you wish to grow and you wish this relationship to grow. And there is abundance in this card again. This is the rainforest. There is abundance in this situation. And here you are together, these two little frogs. <laughs> Don't suffocate this relationship by clinging on too tight. Let it evolve how it's meant to. I keep coming back to that. This is almost like the bindweed and it can suffocate something because it, it traps it, it can't move. So let this, let go of outcomes, glide down the water of the trust of the swan, go at their pace. That's the natural pace. Let go of control, act in accordance with the way that things exist. All these things I say, and these two little frogs, you're very close together. You're both heading in the same direction. You're both transitioning at this time. And you, my darling, are going to step back and observe all of this as this panther, being in a state of observance, being in a state of attachment. And in doing so, you're going to step out of your comfort zone and you're going to step into this creative rainforest, this magic that you'll be able to see the gifts and everything. And, you know, the rainforest is, yeah, it can feel a bit dangerous. It can feel a bit scary, but it is, and it can feel a bit chaotic, which is where you are at the moment. But there is a symphony within that space. There is wonder, there is perfection. There is a delicate balance with everything. And that's what spirit is saying. Oh, and I'm just seeing there. Are, I really feel for many of you that there is family involved here because I'm now also seeing, thank you, lots of other little frogs around as well. So you do have either family, family together, or, you know, whether you've had them together or you've come together with them, or you have soul family around you at this time. And those that are in exactly the same space as you. So my darlings, I hope this has helped what well, i trust this has helped those of you that have uh, come to this reading and uh, it's resonated with you i look forward to doing you another uh, reading next sunday i will be in spain so i am going away to spain this week for a couple of weeks but i have uh, pre-recorded some dailies for you for this next week and then um and I'm about to start on the general star signs for this week. So you will have those daily coming out for you. 
Uh, and then from next Sunday, um, I am looking forward, that may not be every day, but I am looking forward to uh, taking my new light and my iPad and my, uh, so it won't be a screen like this, I'll be more in a portrait mode, but I'm looking forward to doing you some readings whilst I'm away in Spain. Um, I'm staying, I'm going with my boys and, and have friends there, and it's an amazing, beautiful town, a bit like a uh, the town you see in Mamma Mia, the, mo the movie, it's called Tarifa, and uh, hopefully going to go across the water into Morocco. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it, um, and I look forward to doing some readings for you from there. So have a think about what you would like the reading for next Sunday to be from beautiful Tarifa in Spain. In the meantime, my darlings, take care and so much love to you. Uh, and thank you as ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your wonderful support. I do adore you guys and I just love all the messages. Um, so thank you again, my darlings. So much love. Take care. Bye bye.